with another podcast. I got the iron skillet in the building. We got Bull Whip here. My man T. Clemmer in the boards. And then we got Melvin and the main event, Edgar, in the hey, building. Yo, 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 what up, what up? He's an amazing uh, photographer from the Winchester area, so we're going to sit down with him, get a little bit of information about how he got into shooting and just kind of get his story. Um, so, Edgar, are you from Winchester? Like, did you grow up here? Yes, I was born and raised here. What, uh, like, where'd you go to high school at? I went to Millbrook High School. To Millbrook? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was a strando. <laughs> all four years. I was a strando. Ooh. So it's like, that's my Ooh. rival right there. <laughs> We're, <laughs> We're not going to hold it there. against you. <laughs> yeah, we won't hold it against you tonight. But uh. So, um, like, were you, before, like, I guess middle school, high school age, like, were you always into creative type of stuff? Or were you ever into, like, anything different? Or were you always, like, oh, I'm a creative kid? Oh, yeah. Since, since a little kid, I've always been creative. Um... I mean, just, I guess in every aspect, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, I remember as a kid, I, I was a big fan of WWE. Oh, same. Nice. And uh, my, I always wanted to, they, they would sell like the belts. Oh, whatever. yeah. And I wanted the John Cena belt where it would like spin. So <laughs> Lame. They, they, my parents wouldn't no, buy me kid. one. So I would, I made my own. You made your own? <laughs> yeah. So I just made my own and, they, and it would spin it and would everything. Spin. So, yeah. Dang. Was, it, was it cardboard? <laughs> I was going to say, would you make it out? <laughs> uh, paper. Paper, oh, just, paper, yeah. And then I had a little pin of of WWE logo, mm -hmm. and I put it right in the center of it, and then it would spin. spin. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. lit. Nice. Did you think yeah, that yeah. was real back in the day? Because I totally thought it was real when oh, I was yeah. younger. I thought it was real. Yeah, I was. I didn't, wait I didn't, a minute, it's not. Whoa, it whoa, whoa, it's not real. <laughs> I fuck with wrestling, and yeah. it is real. They, okay. they are performers. It's real it's acting. really performing. Show. Yeah, they're, it's a real show. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's like, a real show. Yeah, it's exactly. real. Yeah, I, got exactly. a friend that, I got a friend that wrestles. Yeah. 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 You, you gotta, yeah. definitely yeah, got to have some He has a whole little jobs. logo and everything. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's real to a certain to extent. To a certain extent. Like, right, they're right. Really, yeah. I mean, they do out like, there throwing, have like physical. All, most like, of the hits, man. But when they slap you with that backhand. It hurts. It hurts. I can imagine. Because he does it to me. Hey, He's like, you got to practice. He catch you. Dang, so you're, you know, young age, making your own WWE belts, and then, like, so I, just talking, we did a little photo shoot before we hopped on here, and we were kind of right. talking, and I heard you saying that you were doing some graphic design stuff when you are in high school, and mm -hmm. Melvin kind of outed you and said you used to draw, mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah. when did you get into doing that kind of stuff, uh, like drawing and graphic design stuff? I like would that? always draw since yeah. a little kid, just, I've always, just basically and like i said earlier like in any aspect i was just creative like i would just try to put my own twist in in different things yeah so and then i guess uh drawing was just my way of like having like creative freedom yeah i like, just draw whatever i want how you know do it whatever way i wanted it to be yeah but yeah just did you I have a um like a style of drawing like did you like to draw certain things um i would i would cut well I don't know if it's like a style, but I would just look at another picture and just draw it. Right. Pretty much replicate it. Try to replicate it, it. Right. Yeah. like yeah. portrait stuff. So people would always think I would eat, uh, what, what, it, what is it called? Trace it? Oh, yeah, yeah. trace yeah. it, yeah. But I, I, would, I would literally just draw it. Right. Yeah, Yeah. But just by looking at it. So. I like what you said about how, like, you could, you could express it and make it however you wanted because, like, right. I know – for me, like, writing, like, rhymes, like, I started writing when I was, like, 10. And that was, like, my way to say whatever I wanted, however I wanted, because it was my rhyme. And no one could tell me how it had to sound or how it had to be. Um, so I can definitely, like, relate to you on that on that front for sure. Um, so you're drawing a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining middle school age, really creative, just trying to, like, build your own stuff. And then how did you end up in this graphic design ca class? Mm, it it was an elective for high school. Yeah. So I took it my freshman year. I really liked it. And then we started getting into Photoshop towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the teacher was like, if you really want to get into it, then take the second class or the second, like... Part of it? Part of it. And then you can really get into it. And then I did it my second year. And then that's when I really learned how to, like, take different pictures, merge them together, just do, like, all crazy stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's, I didn't, I don't know if we had anything like I was that. Just thinking <laughs> that. No, we like, did. We did. We had graphics. It was, like it was just called. Graphic design or something. Or graphics. Design. So back then it didn't seem as appealing. It didn't or seem it didn't cool. It didn't sound as cool. And nowadays it's right, like, right. man, graphic design. No. Oh, I'm taking that. I know at Sharando. Back then we'd take home ec. It was, like, architecture. Well, no, even no. in middle school, I took uh, my eighth grade, I took keyboarding. 
Oh, so really? Yeah. Just even before, like, mm-hmm. all graphics, and I was just into computers, too. Yeah. As well. just, I was just into anything, honestly. I just anything it. that I could put my twist into. Yeah. yeah. I know in Sharinda, we, I mean, they had, like, a dark room and, like, all that stuff. But I do remember the that. The elective was more of, like, people going there to fuck off than to actually learn anything. <laughs> like, learn it. Yeah, I feel it. It's it's so funny thinking back, change, right? Because, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was super into sports when I was in high school. So I literally never would have even thought about mm. picking up a camera and taking a class like that. But this version of me that's, like, right now, if I was in high school, I would have 100% taken one of those classes as an elective. Oh, right, yeah. So, like, I know – so I shot a an event at Sharando like, last year, and there was this young girl there, and she walked up to me with a, a Canon, um, like, a T7 or something. And she's like, hey, there's something wrong with this. Can you help me fix it? And I was like, sure. And, then like, she just had the wrong setting on and she was like, yeah, this is my first day. I'm in this graphics class, and they just gave me this camera to come said, shoot. Go. I'm like, damn, that's yeah. dope. I wish I would have done that in high school. Yeah, exactly. I, I was in high school. Yeah, I probably would have been more, like, engaged. But I had no idea that stuff was, like, even happening. Like, uh, why could They did I? have a, a dark room in Millbrook. In, in Millbrook, too, yeah. yeah. Did dark you, rooms are cool because you yeah. get to, like, did you ever do yeah, uh, dark yeah, room yeah. stuff? Yeah. The second year I did it. Yeah, yeah. it's dope. Man, if they had stuff like that when I was at Hanley. Yeah, he's like, I would have been <laughs> in it. Well, oh, I, I don't even know if they had stuff like that when I was handling. Because, yeah, I never even thought to ask, to right, be honest, right. for sure. But I, still, like, now when I think about it, I'm just like, yo. If I would have been doing this type of stuff when I was in high school, it would probably would have changed a lot of things. A lot yeah. of things for you, I'm sure. Think how far you'd be progressed right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! Don't even get me on that, cause I start yeah. I get dig myself in a hole. I'm like, ah. Oh. Get mad at yourself. I know. I'm like, how? Do, why didn't I do this earlier? I actually do want to ask you about, and we don't have to go into super detail, cause it's not like a a main thing. But I've never done anything with like a dark room or like actual right. photography. Is that how? Is that like where you first? started using a camera like with no, that no I, no actually i was i wasn't interested in in photography at the time oh at all yeah i didn't get interested in photography until my senior year of high school yeah yeah so I, so uh i actually don't know how they did it mm-hmm. but i just i did it with them you were around yeah yeah, yeah. i feel but it I, I wasn't interested i was so, more into that the computer like yeah. Just merging pictures, pictures stuff, together crazy. that are yeah. already yeah, yeah, yeah. taken. It yeah. was like a, it was a digital age then, yeah, yeah. and now like the film processing is coming back. Like everybody wants mm-hmm. to do film processing now, mm-hmm. which it's expensive. It's like a warmer look, or like a oh, definitely. This is vintage. Yeah. People yeah. like people like look. the vintage yeah, look, for sure, for sure. So is it safe? To, my bad. Yeah, you're good. Is it safe to say that senior year was when you first picked up a camera? Yeah, yeah. What was your first camera? It was uh. I I have no idea the name of it, but it was a Sony. It was okay. like it, you couldn't even change the lens on it or anything. It was like a point, and sh- point and shoot. Yeah, point and shoot basically. Yeah. yeah. What made you pick it up? Like there you go. Um, so in my senior year, my friend wanted to do like vlogging stuff, so his mom had a camera, and we would borrow her camera. And then he he said he wanted to do vlogging, but he he wasn't really into it. Yeah. So I would borrow the camera, and then I really got into it. So then after that, we made a Canada trip. So then as I, I couldn't borrow his camera. Mm-hmm. So then I bought my own. And then that's when I bought the little Sony point and shoot. Yeah. And then that's when I got interested. Yeah. It, I mean, it just clicked. I mm-hmm. was like, I really like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. yeah. I feel it. I feel like, uh, so did you shoot a bunch of stuff during that trip and then sit down yeah. and like try to make something? Yeah. I shot a whole bunch of pictures. And then that's when I started like googling, like really like like searching like like specs on different cameras, trying to see which ones I could get, like because I couldn't change the the lens right. on that oh, one. Yeah, so it's just a digital I was really zoom. Limited, like. But it did have manual mode, so yeah. that really got me familiar mm-hmm. with manual mode. And then that that's all I shoot on, which is yeah. kind of tough for some people. Wow. Man, manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is hard when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's not if you just take the time to learn it. Yes, I know. It's really easy. I'm it, in the like, process. Once you get in there and do it, yeah. you're I'm never going to go back. You're I never going to go back. I Ever. feel it. I can Perfect understand. Friends. I don't want to go back to auto. <laughs> That's what <laughs> you shoot, manual. Yeah. yeah. And I know, like, there's certain stuff you just can't do in auto. Like I know, like I listen to like Ben Haggerty on uh, from mm-hmm. Black Widow Cream, and he talks about shooting Homecoming, and he's like these tracking shots from Coachella. 
he was like kind of dissing people. He was like, you can't use autofocus and get this shot. I'm like, damn it, all right. And I guess I got to learn. So, so you're in high school. You have a camera. You make your first vlog. Did you edit it on like iMovie or what did you use to like put – or did you just do pictures? Just pictures. Just pictures. Yeah, no, no. We said we wanted to do vlogs, but we never actually We never got to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you um and I don't even know if back then was there anything to like change the like the color grade of the picture at that point in time cuz I I don't even know if that was like a I thing. Don't, I don't I do everything I'll be honest with you I do every even to this point I do everything on my phone. Wow. I don't own a computer. Dang. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> Wait till right, <laughs> Yeah. yeah could have swore he was using some type of software. Yeah. No, everything's on my phone. That's Literally amazing. My, my iPhone. X. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. That's awesome. You you know the right apps. <laughs> <laughs> you must. Yeah. You pay he, for just a got, he just got or, skills or got like, for for a couple of them. Yeah. Got yeah. Like the ones where like I have to like Photoshop something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other than you. that, everything. Is on I your guess. phone. Yeah. Dang. I couldn't deal with that little screen like trying to Photoshop something. Like. <laughs> I feel like that if you that's all I you know. Phone. No, it's, yeah. very, it's very tedious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Dang, wait till you guys see this man's. Yeah, for real. Wait till you guys see this man's Instagram, and then you're going to literally be like, damn, he did that on his phone. That's crazy. And then you're going to be like, why am I not doing shit like that? <laughs> exactly. Because yeah. you and, just and have your... Some of the pictures on my Instagram are taken on my phone. So That's insane. It's, it's Inspiration not, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You can I don't, get into I it. I honestly don't think the gear matters when yeah. it comes to photography yeah. or videos. For well, sure. I mean, it might to a certain extent, like, but... It you can make something yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. If you know how. We preach that all the time. Yeah. Because you hear, you hear a lot of people like saying, well, I, I can't go out and shoot because I don't have this. I don't have that. But yeah, right. you, you have your phone. Your phone's a, a $1,000 mm-hmm. camera in your right. pocket. Right. You know? Pretty much. Especially the Malevin, man. You yeah. got three cameras on there. Right. <laughs> right. Portrait no mode. No excuses. Right. And they're getting close to, to like real like DSLR camera level right. too. Quality. So, yeah. yeah. Which is insane and awesome for people that want to create because it lowers that barrier to entry. Like, you don't have to sit around and be like, how can I stack up 700 bucks to buy a camera? Like, yeah. if you have an iPhone, you can go out and start, like, shooting stuff and, and making content. That's that's super dope. So how did you – you're in high school. You're shooting just stuff from your trips and everyday life. When you graduated high school, what, what happened? What was your next step after that? Um – my next step was upgrade camera. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, cause, yeah, cause I couldn't uh, change lens. But, yeah, I, I upgraded my camera. And then I I watched a lot of YouTubers, and they always talk about just going out and shoot. So that's what I did. I just went out and shot and then got really familiar with my camera. And then that's it, just grind every day. Yeah. Got whatever. to the point where every day you hit me up, man. Let's go shoot. Let's go shoot. Let's go shoot. Let's <laughs> yeah. go shoot. Yeah. I don't, because I don't have models, so. Yeah. I, It'll be me. Yes, you do, man. Look at that handsome face. Yeah. That's a model. Yeah. 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 He said, thank you. BTS, so he's said, not really some... a model. <laughs> he said, put some respect on my name. <laughs> that's fire, yeah. man. So go ahead and tell people what camera do you currently have? Because you started with a Sony point and shoot, which may be why you I see the camera you have on right. the table there. Actually, this is my upgrade. Okay. So the one I upgraded to after my point and shoot is this Rebel T T6, mm-hmm. and then I gifted it to him, and then I upgraded oh, no. to the Sony Alpha A7 Mark II. Oh wow! And that's what I shoot on right now. And I'm still getting familiar with it because I, I, I went from Canon to Sony. So oh, yeah. So the settings it's and everything. It's a slight, slight difference. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. So when you guys are going out, like, at this point, you've upgraded multiple cameras. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in between that. I know I want to, like, get a little bit into, like, the whole process of like photoshop because if you guys look at his pictures on instagram they're not just they are beautiful like images but he will take the image of what it was and he will actually like make that into something completely different in photoshop um so i wanted to talk a little bit i know you said you started doing that in graphic design but like a little bit of how that works and especially doing it on your phone because that blows my mind now that i know that yeah (laughs) so just talk to me a little bit about that and like like if you take an image how does your brain work to like how you can actually create what you see not what you you took on the camera so when i want to photoshop a picture i always have to think ahead Mm -hmm. when i'm taking the picture so I'll have to know, I'll have to take two different kind of pictures. I'll have to take the one where 
if it's for example if i've taken a portrait picture and i want to really have the the person like well lit and then there's a um a sunset in the background as well mm -hmm. and i can't really have them lit at the same time and then the background like the pretty colors Bright. and stuff Ooh. well without the equipment yeah of course because if you had the equipment you can do it yeah but without the equipment i'll take two different pictures on two different exposures and then i'll just merge them together in photoshop damn yeah I didn't even think or, about but that. on my phone but on my phone yeah, yeah yeah on my phone that's a whole like my mind Whoa. is just blown right now <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like a crazy cheat code. yeah so yeah, that's yeah. like if you don't have yeah. money for a lens, like for the right lens or whatever, like if you take the time, this dude just pretty much. Yeah, you can do the exact same thing on your phone too. Uh, if you when you go to take a picture and you hold the screen, it'll lock the exposure, mm -hmm. and then you can just change the exposure and then take two different pictures, and then there you go. Put it in there yeah. on your phone. Yeah. Yep. Wow. My man is dropping gems out. <laughs> you guys yes. better be picking up these. We're turning this podcast into We're turning this podcast into a skill share. Like, we got to we got to we got to charge for this one. That's insane though. That's I never yeah. would have thought to take two separate pictures. Had that would that have ever crossed your mind? Uh, I mean, I've never like done it like that. I've done like just replacing the skies with like, you know, stock sky images yeah. and shit like that, yeah. but never like actually done what you do what you've done. Right. Yeah. But, that's insane. I think that's cool because it goes to show that everybody has a different way of doing things. Right. We all arrive to, you know, a relatively same ending, but, but that's, everybody I think takes your, different your ways to get there. way is way cooler because it's an authentic picture that you took. Yeah. Instead yeah. of using stock images yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. like crazy skies or crazy backgrounds and... For I guess sure. I I do use stock images, I guess you could say, but yeah. they're still my pictures because right. I'll use other sunset pictures that I have. Mm -hmm. And then oh. if I don't have it at yeah. the moment, I'll use other sunset pictures because right. I take a lot of sunset pictures. Where yeah. I live, I get a lot of sunrises, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll use those. That's dope. Well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's all stuff you have, like, in yeah. the in, locked up. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever do, like, any Photoshop battles on, online with people? No. Uh, I, I do. I have done, like, challenges where I do edit other people's pictures. Right. But not nothing, like nothing that. crazy. Yeah. I saw Creative. Like, that. he makes me think of, like, Creative Ryan. He's a big videographer in Atlanta. And he did a challenge like that where he just sent a basic raw photo out. And mm -hmm. did a challenge, like, and I feel like you would have, like, destroyed that. Because <laughs> yeah. you probably would have made it into something so crazy. That's so yeah. wild. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't want to skip over. Brandon, you got anything? Because I feel like I'm... All right, hold on. He's I, got, uh, I got a little bit. He's <laughs> so, like, got some stuff. Man, there's so much. Like, your Instagram is, is booming. I love the, like, Doctor Strange looking ones. Now, is that a sparkler? Like, the... the oh, the... Which you know, yeah, I'm talking about where you got I circles my of own fire. Pictures. He's like, I forget. <laughs> it, it looks like a, some type of sparkler. Yeah, or like it's uh, a, steel wool. Oh, steel wool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's nice. And I, I love like the. I think you call it phoneception. Like yeah. you got like a screen, and uh, one is uh, a, like a steeple, and you see the steeple on the phone, but it's through the phone. I don't know. It's it's the way he yeah. layered it looks. Like, unreal. It's, right, it's, right, right. Uh, That's what I was talking about. That's the stuff that, like, <laughs> that was the first type of picture of yours that I came across. Yeah. And I was looking at it because I don't know much about, like, Photoshop or anything. And I was just staring at it like, how the hell did he do this? <laughs> you guys follow both of his Instagrams? There you got two? You got two? Uh, yeah. Well, I manage, a, uh, to be honest, I manage four. But you manage two, four? two of them are mine. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's yeah. the purpose of the two separate ones? Uh, my main one is for like random stuff like portraits, nature, just anything, street, whatever. And then my second one is uh, sh like sh I want to keep it strictly in nature. Like gotcha. Just, you know, whatever nice. nature. Yeah. yeah. Landscape, just stuff like that. That's dope. That's smart, yeah. Is that because like, well, do you have a preference of like if you were to really move into shooting all in on like a specific niche, do you have a preference of what you would want to shoot? all the time or you're like i don't care as long as i'm shooting i would, I would shoot landscape landscape yeah. that's dope because i would get the chance to travel see a lot of a lot of places yeah yeah smart man yeah but I'm i terrible do at I landscape i can't i don't under, i just can't <laughs> i can't compose the shot <laughs> yeah i it's I a agree struggle with you. I, composing i struggle but so, i that's what i would do though is composing just like framing it up is Basically. that what that means yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i don't know i I'm look good at that 
Yeah, it's Brandon's like, I got that. <laughs> it's easy. I'm literally point like. Point and shoot, point and shoot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Like, it's cool when we, we went out and, sh- like, shot before this. And it's like when you can tell when someone's a seasoned photographer because they walk. He walked out on the roof and he's scanning and he's mm. pulling his, like, the viewfinder up and he's looking and he's like, you can see that he's trying to piece together, like, what makes sense. But me, I'm like, oh, that light pole looks cool. Go stand over there. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's what I would be doing. So, um, you know, you can tell that it's not like you just started doing this, that you've been doing it for a while. And that in itself, we just talked about how, like, composing a shot in itself is like a, sh- is a skill. And then you said you're learning how to pose people and how to right. work with people. Um, what's that been like for you? Because I know I tried to do it to help Travis, and it's freaking hard. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's hard. I've I always ask my friends to model for me because mm-hmm. I've I've starting to get into like portrait photography, mm-hmm. which is uh, <laughs> I kind of want to like get out of it. <laughs> so, like it's hard. <laughs> yeah, but it. I mean, it's hard. Like, mm-hmm. but that's the thing. You got to get out of your comfort zone, really, to just learn new things. Yeah. But yeah, I've been trying to learn how to like pose people. I watch a lot of YouTubers, so mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to say like I copy them. But I do, I do learn a lot of things off of off of YouTube. A lot of YouTube. Yeah. Well, you find what works for you, and then you know. Yeah. Put your own, that, put your own twist to that. Thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And learning, you know, portraits or landscape or learning them all really is going to make you, you know, better all around too. Right. Right. So, yeah. uh, the first time I seen Edgar, because um, I feel like I've seen your pictures just floating around out there, <laughs> but the first time. Well, I believe it was the Helix video uh, for this, that. Did you go out to that? Um, I think you came out and took pictures. No? At uh, what, Edgar? I don't think so. I'm tripping. It was another music video. Maybe it was a G reel. The only music video, I think, was the Debo style, style one. Yeah. I feel like that he was, was a... taking pictures of somebody else. Then I'm tripping. He's like, maybe not. <laughs> All right, well, let He's me bring it back like it was around that. I feel like it was around that time because that was like around the time that that mark came through. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was it like, was, have you guys seen it, this guy, Edgar? It might have been like, a what? G-reel. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we were all like, <laughs> what? Where does this guy live at? He's like, right down the shop, far might from here. might have been a G-reel. I remember uh, he was out taking pictures somewhere where we were. I'm going to tell you what it was. He was there, but he wasn't taking pictures of Helix. I feel like he was taking pictures, you know, portrait setting. Right. I, like I remember one time we I left the studio and I was driving down camera All right, street. That's the next and story I seen I want to these people up. in the middle yeah. of the road taking pictures. I was like, what are these people doing? And then like the day later, someone's like, yo, look at this picture Edgar took in the middle of the street. I was like, I drove past him. <laughs> I yeah, saw him do that. that. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, some well, girl laying like sitting on the sitting on the street and right over here on the camera, camera in front street. of the uh, Sandy, yo. Remember when really? yeah. me and you and Sandy? It was like some the plane, you know the planners on Cameron Street? It was like oh, right in front okay, of the planners. Yeah. yeah, y'all were in the middle of the road. Yep. It was me, him, and my sister. Yeah. No, yep. yeah. That's us. He said, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> there was Downtown. another time where I left the studio and I was walking up the walking mall and I seen you shooting. I don't even know who you were with. I think it was another female. And the next day I see it, I'm like, yeah, they turned out good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I see him. I see, I, <laughs> like the, the Cameron shot, I see him like laying on the ground looking for that shot. And then I'm like, yeah, he's getting it. And then the <laughs> next day the picture comes up, boom. Had it. We like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that with the pictures. yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, you pulled up to the Debo style uh, video. That was dope. Yeah. Um, that was cool seeing like everybody coming out and being a part of, you know, something big. We had, you were do- taking pictures, BTS. Mark was filming BTS. I don't think I we were filming. We was acting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cops came out and hung out for a little oh, while. Cops God, came yeah. out, showed love. <laughs> so, yeah, that was dope um, having everybody out there. And that brings me to the next thing I want to say is seeing uh, yourself, Melvin, Mark, and everybody, you know, working together, even G-Real, too. Right. Um, it, you know, it's it's motivating seeing that, and it's inspiring because it's, it's kind of like how we came together. Everybody's good at different things. Mm-hmm. And you guys are kind of all working towards the same goal. And I think that's a lesson for everybody out there. Find a team, you know. And you guys seem like you work together very well. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Have you all known each other, like, forever, before uh, uh, you picked up the up. cameras? Or, or <laughs> yeah. is this, like, how yeah, do y'all? Yeah. Well, Man, me and him are cousins. Is, this is okay. my cousin. Yeah. So I'm, obviously, since birth. <laughs> yeah. So how would y'all link up with Mark? 
Uh, oh. I was just telling uh, Shator earlier that I met him, I want to say it was last year, mm-hmm. uh, for Abba Blossom. And um, pretty sure. Oh, at the, the G Rail at the Brewbakers? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Cause you were you're friends with Georgie, like right? Yeah, so, yeah. Since that's what another thing I want to ask. Like, since you're friends with him, have you ever done any like DJ, like shooting DJs and stuff like that, or shows? Oh. Uh, yeah, I've I've shot pictures for him. Yeah, for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you enjoy mm-hmm. that? Yeah, kind of. I like the party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, just what I, I like. I said uh, I like to take anything, just right. any 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 style, mm-hmm. any just whatever gets me more skills, basically. Right. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. New challenges Here's the everywhere. big question. Does holding that camera and walking around places get you in places that you might not have been able to just because you got the camera? Somebody's like, oh, he's the camera guy. Call him, him. Yeah. Call him through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen times just where Travis just, yeah, just flash the camera and then we're just walking in. I'm like, I'm with him. Well, yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> now with the whole DJ, uh, Georgie, uh, I'll just be like, I'm the photographer. Yeah. And then yeah. he'll be like, all right. There you I'll go. You, <laughs> after the podcast, I'll tell you a good spot you can go anytime you want. <laughs> like, right. you, you got a camera in your hand. So you let's do it. <laughs> That's awesome, camera man. Hand. That's awesome, man. That. I don't know if Brandon's thinking. I don't want to skip over you. Well, Trav, Trav mentioned the uh, the camera street one. And, you know, I don't think there's like – I don't know. There's not too many that I know of that are uh, out filming and doing like the street uh, look that you are in this area. Um, I don't know. I think the way you edit your pictures is just like, I don't know. It's, it's uh, next level. It's next level. It's like he he makes them real warm and I don't know some 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 <laughs> real about them. I'm like, man, that looks so good. There's definitely like, I mean, I'm sure we've all. Sc- Instagram is a thing, so you scroll through a million pictures. But there's a difference between like just a picture that someone threw a filter on, or like a let, or really quick right. put a LUT on it, and like what you do, and it's like a, a whole feeling. Like you look at a picture like that, the one that it looks like a sparkler, like it just literally just opens my mind. I'm like, how did you do that? How could I do that? What if I want to do that for a music video? Could I try to like, you know, like those are the thoughts that go through my head when I see images like yours Mm -hmm. as opposed to just like something that like, you know, got thrown on there really quick. Right. Um, Which is a testament to all the time and energy you put into like perfecting your craft. Um, I think the best way to describe it, like you said earlier, is, you know, he's he's create his art style is creative, like the way he edits and shoots, like the whole phoneception and. It's uh, For I don't sure. know. It's crazy. It's refreshing. It's wild. You know, it's different. Is there any other types of art that you pull inspiration from? Like, I know sometimes, like, I'll get inspiration from certain, like, directors or music. Is there anything that you're ever, like, just in your, like, free time, you're looking and you're like, oh, this would be dope to do something like this with photography? You mean like like people who I get inspiration from? Or? Yeah, that's definitely people or just even pieces of art, either one. Uh, like I was saying, I watch a lot of YouTubers, mm-hmm. so, and um, I'm gonna give them a quick shout out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it. there, it's uh, Hayden Pedersen. Oh yeah. Uh, this guy named North Borders, uh, Seventh Era, and Lamont Fan. Mm-hmm. So they're always shooting. They're always talking about okay, like just go out and shoot. Doesn't matter what you're shooting. Doesn't matter what people think. Doesn't matter if it's good or not. Just just go out and do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. either way, you'll get you'll learn something from it. For sure. And um, there's one guy who I watch a lot, a lot more than all four of them, which is North Borders. Mm-hmm. And um, he was talking about going to random, um, what is it called, dealerships to try to get uh, pictures of cars. And he uploaded the video, and he was like, yeah, go, like, just go to dealerships, uh, ask them if they need pictures, go to several of them. Even if they turn you down, just don't don't let that like bring you down. Just go to another one, and then it, eventually you'll get a yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I I did that. Yeah. So and then that inspired me to go do that. And I mean, people, some people won't like they'll watch a video, and then the people, the person in the video would be like, you know, go do this, go do that, and then they won't actually do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I actually took that upon myself, and I mm-hmm. went to go do that, and I actually got 
a dealership to say yes. And I took a bunch of pictures for them. That's dope. And I thought it was really cool. I was like, I, I was like, I bet. Yeah. Like, I mean, I actually listened to somebody, and then it it, it it ended up working out for me. It paid off. Yeah. I probably builds your confidence too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be able to be like, all right, I know if I push, it might not happen on the first try. Right. But like, it'll happen. Mm-hmm. It's just like getting out of out of the comfort zone. Honestly, I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think people are scared. They're they're oh, yeah. afraid to hear no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid to hear no. But, I mean, eventually you'll get a yes. Yeah, so for just sure. keep trying. Yeah, and, you know, you pitched it to a dealership, but that, you know, skill that you just learned of, of the business and negotiation part, yeah. you could take that to different businesses and say, hey, you know, yeah. what's up? Now you're not afraid to hear no either. Yeah, for you know, sure. It's a, if you don't ask the question, you know, what are you going to get from it? Yeah. yeah. For sure. That's an, that's. I think that one of the most important pieces of advice that he said is that he heard something that someone that inspired him did, and he went out and did it for himself multiple times, not once. Because I'll see someone that's just so discouraged, like, I tried it, and it didn't work out. I'm like, okay, well, what did you do? Like, I, I went to one place, yeah. and then I, they said no, and I stopped, yeah. you know? Yeah. There's probably so many people that listen to Gary Vee and, like, don't do what he says and then complain about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you for know? sure. Like, they'll, they'll definitely get motivated by what he's saying, but they, they just won't no like, act upon it. Yeah. yeah, no action. And you did it. And you, yeah. It's awesome. What, uh, I want to ask you what you do for, like, a living other than photography. Like, you have, a, like, your day job. What do you do? I do – so I, I make floors that I work on, like uh, – it's like a lumber and mill. But okay. we make uh, floors Still? Yeah, for, for interior housing. Is it local here or – Yeah, well, in Berryville. Berryville. Yeah. Well, I guess that's local. Yeah, yeah, pretty local. Yeah. That's dope. So I feel like – You ever um, ask, do, ask them to do any promotional pictures and stuff for them or – I've uh, – I never really thought about it until – Last week, because they um, during my lunch, I saw these two guys that were actually in there with cameras taking mm-hmm. pictures of their like of their Facility. product. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. And you're like, I do that. Yeah, <laughs> so I, was like, hey, I, I can do that better. I wanted to. I, I didn't have enough time, but I wanted to just like, cause obviously I do. That's what I do. So right. I, I was really curious, and I was like, Yo, mm-hmm. like, let me see your camera. Yeah. Let me see your equipment. Yeah, the yeah. Like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, for but, sure. But I couldn't. But yeah, yeah. I mean, after seeing that, definitely, definitely something I should, to try. I, I mean, ask. yeah. Especially, and if they let you do it, you get there's a portfolio of of corporate shit that you can go to more yeah. businesses and be like, hey, let me take pictures of your stuff. It's, it's another branch, really. Yeah. Yeah. For mm-hmm. yeah a whole pictures. other yeah, a whole other thing. And I feel like um, right now with what's going on in the world, I think it's important to address like. It seems like you've taken a really positive mindset towards like right now. Everything's kind of shut down. Times are really weird. And it'd be easy to just fall into that negativity of like, ugh, like I can't go do anything. I can't really progress and be mad about it. But like every time I've seen you, you're always excited, always smiling, always have good energy. <laughs> and you're always just like, I'm, I, you know, I just went out and did this. I just went out and did this. And um, I feel like talking about that a little bit and maybe how this time period is uh, affecting you and how you're working through that as a creative and as a person would be good to talk about. So with the times, uh, it did affect me at first, like, I guess in a bad way. Yeah. At, at first, I was really stressful. I was, I, I quarantined myself and I wouldn't go out. I was scared to go out. And then, but I, I stopped, I stopped listening. I decided to, upon like, upon myself to stop listening to the news, basically, mm-hmm. to just, you know, just relieve the stress, just mm-hmm. be, be chill, basically. Yeah. And then I... I honestly, I forget about it sometimes. I forget that it's going on. Yeah. Because, I mean, even here in Winchester, there's not that many cases. So mm-hmm. it's, it's not like people are, like, freaking out or anything. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, I've, I, we go with this whole thing. Since we can't go out, like, to fur- any further out places, mm-hmm. we've been shooting here in town. Yeah. So, and then every day, I mean... This guy probably gets bored of me asking him to go shoot. <laughs> like, you trying to go shoot? <laughs> but I feel like nah, he's probably right. always down. It's not that I get bored. I'm just like, it's just that I get bored in town. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're always yeah. shooting downtown. Yeah. yeah. There's only so much you can shoot. Yeah. Down there, yeah. But uh, have you found a bunch of, like, new spots, like, recently that you're just like, oh, I never knew this was here now uh, that you've been quarantined, basically, in Winchester? Actually, yeah. There, there's a spot down the street where there's, there's a building. It's, like, painted with all, like, 
graffiti and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like ye- the building's yellow, but it's got a whole bunch of like. Oh, it's, it's on uh, uh, Indian Alley. I don't know the street name. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. Beside right the parking here, garage. Basically. Is it beside a parking garage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indian yeah. Alley. So I did. I did it's a secret, Melvin. It's a secret. It's going to cost you. The Winchester, I've never <laughs> noticed it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I found that recently, and then I took uh, G Real to take a shoot there the other day after I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always scouting. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, um, a good place with a bunch of like uh, painted walls. Have you ever been through Strasburg? Like Main Street on Strasburg? Mm-hmm. There's like seven or eight buildings that have the whole sides of them painted. Okay. Yeah. Like down the street. I'm surprised that Mark's never, because Mark's from Strasburg. I'm surprised he never done anything in those, but. It's pretty dope, but if you ever get bored, drive out to Strasburg and drive down. I know the a street. lot of places in Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. You're a like, just let that thing go, so you can <laughs> let the the quarantine up, so you can go. Yeah. I know yeah. Melvin was saying that you guys. I know you were saying you're ready, like as soon as everything's done to get out and go oh, shoot yeah, other I'm places. Ready. And I feel like from you saying you want to shoot landscape photography to be able to travel. Mm-hmm. Um, what are some like when all this is said and done with? What are some things like you would love to do from a shooting standpoint, like to work towards, like whether it's a certain place you want to go, or just a certain thing that right now you can't do, but you can't wait until it's done. Uh, travel. Travel. So period. That, that's yeah, because I really want to go to New Zealand and take pictures of of just the Landscape, scenery, just yeah. everything, just everything there, even the just, even the cities, just everything is just nice to take pictures of. I'm able to like, I've actually been there. Really? Oh. Wow. Yeah. I got really lucky when I was in the ninth grade. I got accepted into this, like, ambassador program. Oh, wow. And I went to Australia and New Zealand for a month. I was in Australia for two weeks and New Zealand for two weeks. Was it pretty? It is beautiful. It's yep. beautiful. And the people are just so much, like, they're so laid back there. It's like They're like giant spiders and stuff? I didn't see any spiders. It was fine. In Australia, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Australia. I'm but I didn't, Australia. I didn't run into any of them. But wow. it is beautiful. So, and like, the cool thing is that a camera could take you there very yeah. realistically. Like, you never know. It's like you bumping into the right person that needs the images that you can offer them. Right, right. And like, it's like one conversation or one interaction away. Right, right. Um, so, put that into the universe, Fragger. It's ho- hope that he gets to go to I New think Zealand. He's super talented and <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you're on the right track. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. When did you graduate? Uh, 2015. He's like, it's hard to remember. Oh, <laughs> Not still long young ago. In this game, man. <laughs> yeah, still sure. young. Learn. Yeah. Go do ahead, you, um Do you see yourself going full time photography in the future? Is that what you, what I, you plan? I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. That's my aim. Yeah. Your dream. Yeah. yeah. I. I would like to open up like a studio, honestly. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. something like this would be nice. It's just some, you, you know, y'all it. are processing that, it, but it's good. Y'all it feels good. It, it feels good yeah. when you when you do something like get your own studio and whatever. I mean, it's small space anyway, but yeah. still. If you good. tell yourself you're gonna do something, you'll figure out a way to do it. You yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. We have faith in you. <laughs> For Appreciate sure. It, yeah. For sure. Definitely. Um. I know I had touched on my topics. I don't want to take away from anyone else if anyone has anything. I want to – so, Melvin, how long have you been shooting? Uh, Not that not that long, honestly, under under a year. Have but you I'm been getting picking closer. up a lot from Edgar? Yeah, oh, always. Oh, you always. can see he it. Always, you can see it in his photography. Yeah, he teaches me a lot, He's, always. That's definitely, yeah. <laughs> and them YouTubers, he, um, uh-huh. he watches, I watch oh, so them too. Oh, so he puts you on the game. Yeah. 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 yeah, the, yeah. There's, this, there's one YouTube um, – video that i like from them is that they compete too Mm -hmm. they compete in videos there where they just go out into a new city or something and they just whoever takes the best photo in that city yeah yeah, you know that is something i have been pitching to mark let's do it oh Oh, look we just yes it's a it's a photo battle yeah we piece this together like a like an episode or something we're going the day this quarantine's up we're heading to dc we're doing photo battle (laughs) yes yeah or we could do a quarantine photo battle and then Whatever picture, like at home. Yeah, like, that would thing. be. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah, be yeah. super Let's dope. Do it. We'll 
We'll we talk. can film one and wink, and then we'll go out. And then we can go out. We'll figure something out. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. least that way we'll, we figure out format and yeah. how we got to do it all. But, I know yo, me, that's a great idea. I know me and Mark and Shore were talking about doing, like, a creator's get-together, like a brewery or something, and yeah. have everybody come out and That'd chop it up. And I really, yeah, I really want to do that, um, like a meetup, and just get everybody that's, like, super – positive and in the community together because there's yeah. so many like artists be- separately that you don't know but if you ran into them they would be like man Edgar's the man and the next time they need something if Trav's busy they don't have to just be like oh I don't have somebody for tonight yeah. they might be like oh I remember I ran into Edgar I'm gonna hit yeah. him up you know when what they I mean? need yeah. BTS or the BTS they're gonna be like <laughs> Let's hit up Melvin. God, no name Melvin. <laughs> He's the BTS <laughs> God. <laughs> BTS for the BTS. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Somebody's got to uh, yeah. film the cameraman. Yeah, yes. right, right, yeah. It's awesome. That's respect, scene. though, because not a lot of people do that. Yeah. And that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I put it so on. if you're a cameraman out there and you got no pictures of yourself, call my man. Melvin. <laughs> call me because I'm, I'm managing Melvin. Now, so you got to go through Trav. Go through Trav. Hit him up first. No, man. That's which, awesome. Which y'all got going is, is awesome, man. You guys are – it's only up from here. And, yeah. uh, dude, y'all will get there. Wherever y'all are trying to get, you're going to get there. Because it's, it's only gotten better since the time me and Trav seen you laying in the street taking a picture. We've been trying to get <laughs> – literally, we've been trying to get you on the podcast since our last studio we had. Bruh, yeah. he left us on red. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He said, don't fry him now. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. Yeah. I swear I don't do it on purpose. Up, but <laughs> no, I'm, the, I'm the worst of that, too. Every time Mark's like, yo, why don't you fucking answer me? <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. I forgot. Nah. Yeah, no, I swear I didn't do it on purpose. Nah. And I told him I think the timing – much better. Mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like the interview, yeah, no, the quality yeah. of it would, is much better now than if we would have oh, gotten yeah, it back too. then. So everything I was really happens. a new back then. You so, really yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. look I like was... it from your Instagram. <laughs> nah, man, you've been killing it. I was it. like, what the heck? <laughs> It's so crazy. Just don't forget us when you when you blow up. We yeah, want, no, and we no, want no. another interview. <laughs> when you're touring with some I, famous artist, you know, a couple hundred bucks away from from hitting the big time. I'm telling you, <laughs> you put some money into promo on those pictures, like. Yeah, do you ever do that? Do you ever like throw on a couple Instagram? Of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 anything. I have, Instagram yeah. or Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. I have. Yeah. yeah. On it, only on Instagram. Yeah. But Instagram's not really a good place to uh, well, in my opinion, cuz I think the algorithm algorithm is like kind of yeah. like shitty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They want you to pay. Yeah, well, basically. And it's also about what you're mm-hmm. using the promotion for like do you what are you how are you driving traffic to your business by promoting on Instagram? It's you know how how you utilize it so to yeah. speak. Do you have so do you have a like a portfolio like a website portfolio? No. Not yet. I no. Should Just go to that. his Instagram, yeah. 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 Just everything Instagram right now, but it's turning out not to be the good, the good <laughs> yeah, yeah. Short end of the stick. But I mean, that's it's it, like luckily nowadays creating a page mm-hmm. like a little simple web page for your like your uh, portfolio and stuff isn't super expensive and it's like kind of attainable with like Wix and all well, that I mean, stuff. Wix, sometimes like the Wix stuff you can do for you can do it for free. Yeah, you just don't have a good you don't have a good domain name, but you can always. Change it change eventually. It. Well, eventually dude, but domain names are cheap. Yeah, but to link them to like Wink sites. Oh, they won't. Wix they won't sites, do that. No, you have to do it through Wix, and I think it's like it might be a couple. Of, I don't know how much it is, but it's is a our site pricey. through Wix? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I I made it work. <laughs> <laughs> I did like, what I wanted to. A uh, side page. Probably. I guess I I yeah. just you just redirect it. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like name. we make it's it weird. in Wix, and then you redirect your dot com to go to that page. Yeah. But it's probably it's yeah. This is bullwhipcrazy dot com. But still, <laughs> portfolio is a good idea because yeah. then like br- you could like send brands to it, and yeah. I feel like that's the way to go with photography nowadays is hook up with them brands, and mm-hmm. then brands gonna send you to New Zealand. Yeah, that's fucking. dude. You dropped a lot of knowledge for the people out there. We're gonna drop some knowledge for you after this podcast. <laughs> uh, definitely. Have you heard Unsplash? Mm, that's not nice. nah. we'll we'll uh get i'll let uh, let trav talk to you about it afterwards but unsplash is like another platform that's really good for photographers mm-hmm. and like i know a couple photographers have said that their pictures got picked up for like to be running ads and stuff just because they put them on unsplash so get you hip to that get you hip to that so before we hop off of here um Edgar, is there anybody you want to shout out and can you tell the people where they can find your stuff uh well, they can find my stuff at Edgar Membreno on all social medias. 
And then I do, and for my shout out, I want to shout out Mark. So I got to show off the shirt. Oh yes, one on one. He's got the he's got the fancy one. Dang. Nobody has this. So uh, unfortunately, <laughs> some people have this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got to shout out my man Mark because uh, honestly, I, after meeting him a year ago, uh, he's put me on a, on a lot of stuff. He's teaching me a lot of stuff mm-hmm. as well. And, uh, I mean, I really appreciate it. So. I think he put us on to you. Like, yeah, for sure. yeah too. so, I mean, he's been a really, like, what do you call it? Like, a, a connection? Yeah. To it, like, yeah. To, to all of this, so. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, uh, big shout out to Mark, yeah. Shout out to Mark. Mark's, <laughs> Mark big shows well, a lot of love, yeah. yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Melvin, you want to shout out your IG? And Tell people Mate, where they can. You can find me on Melvin Ayala, 1596. Remember, A-Y-A-L-A. So I spell my last name, but another shout out to Mark. But you know, yeah, just like I said, he's a he's a huge inspiration to people out here because mm-hmm. he just he's always positive. He's always yeah. positive, and he's you just, still got to pay for this promo y'all just yeah, gave him. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be sending you a bill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, was that scripted? That sounded too good. <laughs> he was ready for it. Definitely right. shout out I'm to Mark. I gotta soon, zip so. it back up because it was only for thirty. <laughs> Just seconds. for thirty seconds. <laughs> only a 30 <laughs> second promo. Can't get too much time. Need to pay you for the full minute. <laughs> shout out to Mark. Mark's always showed love to the podcast. He's been through here many times and helped us with a lot of stuff. Um, shout out to both Edgar and Melvin for being on the podcast. You dropped so much knowledge. You're killing yes, it. Yes. We love your art. Can't wait to see where things go when all of this stuff lifts and you guys can leave Winchester. Um, This is another episode of the Iron Skillet Podcast. Subscribe, comment, drop below. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.